The salmon anemia virus, or ISA, is a killer. Once it gains a foothold, it can spread like wildfire. ISA nearly wiped out Chile's salmon farming industry three years ago. Now it's been found in four kinds of wild salmon in British Columbia. How it got there, no one knows. The most likely explanation is that it was brought in definitely by humans and probably through the aquaculture industry. In the U.S., salmon fishing is a multi-billion dollar industry supporting tens of thousands of fishermen, packing plant workers and others. At the U.S. government's Western Fisheries Research Center, senior biologist Jim Winton says better monitoring and testing of wild salmon is urgently needed. We have a wake-up call that we need to increase our surveillance until we know more about the strain of the virus that may be present in a different part of the world. We can't really predict what that would do for local populations. U.S. environmentalists say Canada's large-scale offshore salmon farms, where fish live crowded together, are a potential breeding ground for disease and should be made safer. The only way to really do that is to, to move the fish farms onto land. And then if you have the farms on land, you can treat the effluent, remove the viruses and the bacteria and other parasites. Early in November, Canadian officials retested tissue samples from the fish thought to be infected with ISA and found no evidence of the virus. But some environmentalists are skeptical of those results, noting that the same agency tasked with protecting wild fish health is also in charge of increasing and promoting aquaculture. Scientists say the one thing that's for certain now is the need for more research and monitoring to make sure that this valuable natural resource isn't put at risk. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Seattle.